Hollabolt Bikes started around 10 years ago. I was working on a long running TV series for America and we used to work LA hours out of the London office. So the most sort of sensible way of getting around was on your bike at two o'clock in the morning. And we all became really competitive doing up our bikes. Anyway, got to the end of the series and I didn't have a project to move on to immediately. So I went out and bought a load of frames and put together a mini collection of bikes. So I had all the bikes powder coated up in a variety of different blacks and put together this collection. And it had a fairly distinctive look to it. The designer Tom Dixon saw them and really liked them and said that he'd put them on sale in his store, which at that point was up on uh, Labrick Grove. So from that point on, I then started getting a bit more serious about having frames made specifically for uh, my own bikes. We moved away from vintage parts. And that was the beginning of what became Colorbolt Bespoke Bikes. I guess the development of that into what became a business was fairly organic. I mean, it was never really, it was more something I did and thought, well, maybe some friends would be interested in buying it or buying them or whatever. It wasn't really planned to be um, the business that it subsequently become. The way it works with Velarution is they have a bespoke bike fitting service, which is, um, run by Roger Graver, who's a really experienced bike fitter. We create the frame geometry that's specific to that rider, and from that, a bespoke frame is made. The name Colorbolt came about because I wanted to avoid having, you know, like a big flashy logo on the side of a frame. So the only branding on the bikes is just the tiny letter in there, Colorbolt, that that sits just on that single coloured chaining bolt. 2019 was a really big year for Colorbolt um, because of the collaboration bike we created with Moulton. They were the creators of the first small wheeled bike um, way back in the 60s. When I was a kid, I'd actually um, had a Moulton myself. In fact, it was the first bike that I customised. I took it apart and sprayed the frame purple, put it back together again, absolutely loved it. So, when the guys got in touch and asked if I'd be interested in working with them on something, I, I was all over it. And uh, the result of that was the, was the Moulton X Black. I'm super proud of it. It's been a huge success. We've sold a lot of them, particularly in the Far East. And it was selected as Bike of the Week in The Guardian. So I was very proud to have achieved that. For me, the thing I love about Colorbolt is the fact that every bike is different. So as a kind of an ongoing creative project, it doesn't ever stop. There's always new innovation in the cycle industry and thinking about how you can work with new components and new finishes and new ideas. 2020 is the 10th anniversary of Colorbolt, so we're working on something really special for that.